Hey everybody, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and I just finished a 100 days project. So for the next 100 days, there'll be a video out every day. Some of them are rather short, some of them are kind of long. They're all less than 10 minutes though, showing you how I did these flowers. And it's just one label each day. They are rectangular labels, self-adhesive, one inch by two and three quarter inch. This is just something I found at a, um, a secondhand store. So thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to check out my links below if you're trying to find me elsewhere. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for day 44 of my 100 days project. And today's flower is going to be a simple U shape. Actually, I'm going to do one, do it, do it this way. Just do a simple elongated U shape, and with the edges kind of curled on the sides. If you want, that adds just a little extra flair, but you don't need to do that. And then from the center point out, center point out, and then draw a couple little lines with dots on the outside of that. And draw a dot down at the center and a stem. I think I've drawn one similar to this in my 100 days project here. But that's okay. It's okay to repeat. You know? I don't think I've done one exactly like this. Similar, but not exact. That's part of the joy of drawing. You know, so you'll find you'll find the shapes that, that your your body is comfortable, your hand, your mind is comfortable making, and you will end up making those shapes over and over if you allow yourself to just doodle like this, just for a few minutes. I like to doodle a little bit every day. I don't always get to, but you know, I would love to to be able to draw every day. And I do get to most days. I am pretty lucky, but, you know, there are days when headaches and things of that nature get in the way. So, but yes, very simple flower. All of these are very simple flowers. And then, you know, you can always add petals, you know, and sometimes you just need one. You don't necessarily need to add, you know, one to both sides. Sometimes just a single petal on the one side works too. Let's see, let's draw a little small one way up here. So it's going to have a good, big, long stem. And then we'll draw a big one kind of overlapping just a little bit right there. Maybe on this tall one, we'll have a couple of weaves going up it. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And come back and see me. I've got clay projects, I've got sewing projects, I've got all kinds of things. Thank you so much.